Hello there. Uh, Ryan here at my bench. We're going back to the tuna clipper kit and we're going to start doing some weathering. The uh, box art showed a little bit of weathering and, and I've been wanting to dig into this a little more. I've actually been wanting to dig into this a lot more. And we're going to start putting some weathering uh, on this around the, uh, the portholes and just the different details on the side of the ship and sort of just give it some uh, artificial <clears throat> well it's not artificial the whole thing's artificial uh, we're going to make it look like it's been out in the weather for a lot longer than it has been which is it's never been out in the weather it's just been here on my bench but anyway we're going to give it some more realism and actually let's just uh, move in here I picked up some Vallejo washes, model wash. There's a, an oxide rust and black. And we've I've already done just a quick peek. Sneak peek. Here we go. We've already done the other side. And the washes are pretty thin and we're going to thin them down even more so I'm going to put like two drops of black there I'm going to put two drops there so this is this one will be thinned that one will not be and do the same thing with the uh, with the rust we're going to do Two drops, two drops, and then take a little of the airbrush or just the, the paint thinner, and we're going to do four drops and four drops. And brushes, not using the best brushes for this. It's going to be really some. Let me get the, the junky brushes out. I like this one, and this one, and well, let's just let's just lay them all out over here. We'll be using them, and we're just going to start in on the portholes and where the where the chain where the chain where the anchor attaches. So actually, in the, until we're done with that, I'm going to take the anchor off, and we'll just we'll just lay it right there. Yeah, let's go back here. All right. So This is the thinned wash. Putting a dab under each porthole and then dab off the brush. bring it down I want to try and stay below the porthole I got a little above it here I'll have to take that back off but yeah Going to break something else. I wonder, I think we're going to tacky putty this thing back down to the base. Perfect. That will help tremendously. And 
just drag them down. We'll give those a minute or two to dry while we work on this move on down a little bit. So, too much. I'm going to pull some of that back off just by touching it. And then sucking up the excess. And this is just the first pass too. So this is going to be we're going to give it a little more it's going to be a little more dramatic. That's not the right word. A little more real. It's going to look like true life is the is the goal anyway. Kind of just blend these in a little bit. thinned out black or a brush full of the thinned out black and then we're going to take a brush full of the rust and mix those together back to the anchor port we're going to do these up here come on load them up So we've got that mixed wash where we've mixed a little bit, mixed a little bit of the orange and the black together. It's like uh, two parts orange, one part black. And that's thinned pretty good, but we're going to thin it some more. I want this one super thin. Just you know, a little grind around for you. As you know, rust is not all one color. Sort of a 
a wider brush and just start pulling down the grime. Blend together all the grime. This is a uh, really, really, it's almost a makeup type brush, and then we're going to pull off all the excess with this. This will soak up anything that's left liquid and just leave the pigment behind. And I think we can start to see a little character coming out there. So we've got a little bit heavy in some places, so we'll come back with a little water. And clean those up. A hair. Well, that's irritating. There we go. Now. Back to the grime again. And let's give this whole area here a little bit. The, the pilot house windows around the windows and then just give it a general coating and then pull it back off I'm going to take and put a little more black back into the grime give it a, a shade darker another pass this pass I'm kind of coming down the center of the so we've got this would be a good look right here so we've got the orange rust stain on either side of the porthole and it's lighter on the outside we want to darken it up in the middle just a little bit so we've got a little bit of just almost straight wash and just coming down the center of the stain just to give it a little dimension.
let that dry just a little bit. And come back to just the, the general grime, which is a mix of the orange and the black, or the rust and the black. And do another pass. Ooh, that was good. Happy accident. I like that. Just like that. Do want the detail brush. This one that's a 5 -0. And come into the thinned black. And we're going to put. Just a very thin streak. Not even all the way down. Oops. Hold still. Well, that really pops out on the camera. It's much. It's it's a lot more subtle in person. Gently want blend that in. First end of that Q-tip was damp. Now this one's dry. That's 
taken a lot more off. It's not supposed to. Just the brush, leaving the rest. There. And there we have it. We'll put the anchor back in. Upright. And there, I have a weathered tuna clipper. I'll show you. This is uh, obviously this is the side we just did, and this is the one. Why are we still sitting crooked? I did uh, a day or two ago. That looks good. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm still digging the modeling. Then, if you're looking for a uh, if you're looking for a hobby, this I I cannot recommend this one enough. I'm I'm just having a ball with this stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, get out there, go make something. Have a good day.